The long-standing water pan expanded since 2002. This due to leaking water pipes and a faulty pump station, posing a health hazard that has led to death. The R31 road between Kimberley and Barclay West had to close due to this hazard. The rising water levels still pose danger to motorists and nearby businesses. The massive sewage spill led the Public Protector's Office to launch an investigation. The, the investigation is at an advanced stage and the good thing now is that the government has, has committed to give us um, their responses as in, in terms of the plans that they've put in place, of the work that's already been done and the outstanding work and the time frames for the outstanding work and for the dam they said it would be about six months. So as soon as we get that we should be able to put together, uh, do an analysis process and finalise the investigation. Advocate Galeka visited the Tlole family whose child drowned in a water hole in September. The family made it clear there was little assistance from the municipality and the water hole is still not closed. It was definitely an unfortunate situation, hence we got involved as the Office of the Public Protector immediately when the Toilet family approached us. That is why we then engaged the municipality uh, even before we came here today. We further raised the issue with the Premier, hence the mayors are here uh, to take responsibility of the matter and actually publicly you know, commit uh, on the settlement agreement which we are hoping we'll be able to finalise as soon as possible to ensure justice to the family. The family is relieved that the Public Protector's Office intervened. Well, the Public Protector said they are still investigating the case and they are still going to interact with the municipality. There is also talks regarding compensation and everything. So for me it's, a, it's a, something good that is coming that I see that the Public Protector is doing. So I'm very happy with the processes which they are following or making. So the Solplaike mayor apologised profusely for the way the matter was handled. We are deeply sorry for what has happened to the family and we would not want to see such an incident happen to any other family anymore. So what we have been doing as a municipality, we've been doing some drastic work around the Hoha area and as we speak today, we are just left with the final stages of fixing the whole area there. Which the Office of the Public Protector and Northern Cape Premier Zamani Sol signed a Memorandum of Understanding aimed at fostering cooperation and compliance relating to investigations and the implementation of remedial action. Reginald Vidboy, SABC News, Kimberley.